Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing a fall inspired makeup look and we're also doing a collaboration with Anne P Makeup and More. So if you guys are not familiar with Anne, she is another beauty YouTuber here. She is a bit more mature, so a lot of her content is geared more towards the more mature woman. She does a lot of tutorials about how to do eyeshadow or liner for different eye shapes, if you have more hooded eyes, that sort of thing. And she loves her Charlotte Tilbury Chanel, so, so she definitely has that luxury or higher end taste in makeup, but she does a lot of skincare as well. And she's just a really interesting person to listen to whenever I watch her videos. Sometimes I just like play it in the background and just listen to her talk about just like her life or whatever is going on. And she's just a really well informed and informative person. I feel like you learn a lot from her tutorials. Like she's very well spoken and articulate and you can just pick up a lot of knowledge. And she used to live in Chicago and she moved to Florida because of the weather. Honestly, totally relatable. I live in Montreal and six months out of the year, I really question why I live here. Maybe I should move to Florida too. But anyway, before we go any further in the video, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee now that it's fall. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So the idea for this video is a luxury fall inspired look, not necessarily just fall collection items, but items or a look that kind of evokes fall. I'm wearing this dark green, it's brand new. For It's a dress actually, you know, it kind of evokes fall. So what kind of a looks can we create? And we're gonna mix and match some fall, fall seasonal items, some summer, some old collections, just to kind of give you guys inspiration at home to create something at home. I really enjoy these types of videos where I'm not just using brand new stuff all the time, like sometimes I do, but just like mixing and matching with different stuff because I know that you guys at home do keep up with us and getting new collections, which also means that you still have stuff from last year or six months ago. So it's good to just like mix and match and see what you can create at home. So I'm gonna start off by hydrating my lips. I'm using the Emile Corden lip balm here, number one, Lisa. This one just smells really nice. I mean, they all smell amazing. Let's, let's be honest. But I'm just putting a little bit on before we get started. So for the eye, I'm going to go into my Chanel Le Beige 9 Shadow Palette, Le Indispensable. This came out in the summer collection, but as you can see, it's a 9 shadow palette of just beautiful, warm, and cool tone neutrals. So I'm going to focus more on the warm tones today and do more of a golden warm tone eye look. So going into that transition shade at first, I am just using a big fluffy brush to just blend this into the crease and as always I will leave a detailed list in the description box of all the brushes used. So using a sponge that came with the palette here, I'm going to go into this more warm toned reddish color and I'm going to go ahead and place this all over the lid. And then just going in with a more tapered blending brush, I'm just going into the crease here and just building this darker color up a bit more. I really have to say that fall is probably my favorite color. Favorite color. Wow, words are hard. Favorite season, that makes sense. But also the colors in fall are my favorite. I love warm tone colors, especially for makeup. For eye makeup, warm tone colors just always look so good on me, so they're just like my go-to because it doesn't really take much effort or thought into it. And I just love fall season. I'm not a huge fan of summer. I mean, the thing is, I live in Montreal and I love Montreal, but the only downside is there's no beach. If there was a beach, I would love Montreal even more in the summer. But as it is, it's very muggy and humid in the summer and there's no water access, so it makes it a little bit less fun. And I just enjoy all like the lovely fall scented candles, the cozy sweaters, the nice rich colors. It's a good season. And also I love everything pumpkin spice, so to the point where I've been adding a pumpkin spice or like an apple pie spice mix. It's just like cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger, I think, and maybe some clove. Anyway, I've been adding it on top of my cappuccino every morning. It's been lovely. 
I think that the trick to doing this is to just go lightly and to just add more because it's much easier to add more than it is to remove eyeshadow. So this may take a little bit longer at home, but this is like the more crucial part. And now taking a little tapered brush, I'm just gonna go into that red shade from before and just trace it under the bottom lashes here. And if ever this up here looks too intense, you can just take your big fluffy brush from before and just buff it out a bit. So using the same tapered brush from before, I'm just gonna dip into that darker color on top very lightly. And I'm just going to place this in the outer corner here, just to make it a little bit darker. Okay, and now let's go into this nice little gold shade again with one of the sponges and just place some of it on the inner corner here, like maybe like the inner third of the eye. Okay, so I think for the time being, let's just leave the eyes alone and skip to the face makeup. I'm gonna go into my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This has to be one of my new favorites. I've really loved this foundation for a long time, but I kind of hesitated in buying it because of the sticker shock, and I finally did, and it's so worth it, it's so lovely. It's light and very luminous, obviously. I don't think it's very hydrating in the sense of it being moisturizing, but I do find that at the end of the day, I am left with no dry bits of skin. Like the Sometimes the foundation will settle in my smile lines, whereas this one does not. And it's pretty light and natural, but you can build it up. It's just my ideal foundation. And I like it because it really just like helps blur out imperfections, but you can still see some beauty spots underneath the skin. And I like that. I like my skin to look like mine, but better. So just like a little bit more evened out and just like maybe cover a little bit of redness, but that's about it. I want my skin to breathe. Okay, so now for the concealer, I'm gonna go into my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. And I usually go pretty heavy handed with my concealer. So something that I've started to do is when I apply my concealer, I let it sit on my skin for a minute. I find that this just helps give more coverage. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure if it actually works, but just something about just letting it sit there for a minute and while I finish my coffee, I find that it just covers more. So on that note. And now I'm going in with a damp beauty sponge, just blending it out. I try to be careful not to cover up the eyeshadow that I've already done, but if I do, I'm just gonna go in with a pencil or something and just fix it. And by pencil, I mean eyeliner. And in the inner corner here, I just go in with a concealer brush and I just take a little bit of the concealer here and just bring it on the inner corner. And I find that this just helps brighten up the eye look because we are in fact using quite dark shades. So I just wanna make sure that this part of the eye looks bright and awake. And then we can just go in and fix the eyeshadow if we need to. Okay, so for the blush, I'm gonna go into my Chantecaille Cheek Jelly. This one is called Vibrant. Now I did get this with the Chantecaille Fall Collection and it's just a really nice liquid slash cream blush. And what I do is that I put some of it on the back of my hand and then I go in with a brush and I really tap out a lot of it on the back here and then I apply it because it is quite an intense color. It's really lovely and it lasts a really long time. Like I'm talking like all day, your blush still stays in place, but it can be a little bit intense. So go lighter because you can always add more. Okay, I'm gonna go into a bit of bronzer. I'm gonna go into my Hoola Benefit Bronzer. And I really like this one, and I'm honestly impressed because I've actually hit pan on this bronzer. It doesn't happen often. I feel like it takes a lot of work to actually go through a bronzer, but I think I'm starting to go through it. Okay, so to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna go into my Chanel Cirous Yeux Waterproof number 943 Brun Agape, which is like a soft brown with a little bit of shimmer in it. It's really nice. I think it's going to go really well with this look. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the waterline on top and on the bottom as well. And then for the mascara, I'm going to go ahead and top it off with this NARS Climax Mascara. 
Okay, so for the lip, I'm going to go into my Clé de Peau Refined Lip Illuminizer. It's a, an extremely glossy lipstick. It's very hydrating. And I'm going to go ahead and use the shade number four, Dahlia. Now, this came out in the spring, I believe. But it's just like that perfect, easy, pinky nude color. You don't need a mirror. You don't need a lip liner. You can throw it in your purse and just have it be that shade you wear for any look because it's so easy to wear with anything. It's, it's a nice pink, but it's not like a flashy bubblegum pink. This is a lip color that for me kind of lives in my purse, like in my makeup bag in my purse, because this is a lip color that regardless of what makeup look I have going on, I can just go like this and just give a little bit of color. So it's really great for that. So there you guys go. This is my inspiration for a nice little luxury makeup look. Some of these are new, some of these are old. I'm sure you can mix and match at home. I am so excited to see what Anne came up with in her video. Please make sure to go check her out. I will leave a link down below to her video and her channel. Go see her video, tell her I said hi. I'm sure you guys will love her. If you don't already know who she is, I'm sure many of you do. She's a wonderful lady and I'm sure you guys will enjoy her videos as well. I'm really curious what kind of makeup look she did. Um, I hope we don't have too much overlap in our makeup selection. We might, we might not, we'll see. Fingers crossed that we didn't pick the exact same items. I would be shocked if it was every single item. Maybe one or two, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.